hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is eradri hilary and this is from my sister Radri's corner if this is your first time of joining us then welcome and if you're returning thank you for always coming back to this channel well um, earlier i started a series on career paths that you can take as a pharmacist and this is going to be part two and in my last video i promised that in the next video i was going to be talking about possible career paths to take in the tech industry so today i'm going to be telling us about pharmacy job roles in technology and health informatics so you know tech these days is something that everybody wants to go into because it's more flexible it lets you you know have some time to yourself if you're able to balance your work from home life some people enjoy working from home and of course there is a lot of money in the tech industry right now is the in thing so if you're a pharmacist and you're interested in going into tech you can still be a pharmacist and still be a tech personnel okay so i'm going to be telling us a few job roles here i hope you find one interesting that you want to go into the first one i'm going to be talking about is data analysis are you interested in data analysis or you already are a data analyst then you could consider clinical data analysis so for um, a pharmacist you can go into clinical data analysis and just pursue it as a career path you can also be a clinical applications pharmacist you can be an automation pharmacist. For those of us that are into software development, both front-end and back-end software development, you can actually go into clinical software development. You can be a clinical software development specialist. You can also be a clinical software integration specialist. You can also be a clinical solution specialist. You can be a digital health pharmacist. This one quite interested me. You know, um, these days, literally, they are, due to the COVID-19, a lot of people discovered that they can do a lot of things online. Applications were developed and all of that. So being a digital health pharmacist, you do, you, you attend to people online, you do consultations online and then everything you just do it online. And there are, right now, if you look around, you also know that there are pharmacies that operate basically online where you make your orders for your prescription and then they are delivered to you. So you can actually be consulting with patients while you're in your home or you can work from home while being a digital health pharmacist. Being a digital health pharmacist, you can also give um, recommendations and advice on how to take drugs and just, you know, just generally counsel patients. You can also be an electronic health record training pharmacist. You can be um, a health informatics specialist you can be information technology specialist as well you can be pharmacy informatics specialist you can be a social media engagement and communication specialist for those of us who enjoy social media management you know there are a lot of us with different talents and different interests and you're a pharmacist you can actually go into this you can be a telehealth service provider it's um it, it's related to being a digital health pharmacist so you just um, depends on the company hiring you you get to know your job description and what exactly you're doing you can go online and check it out and know the description for what you're supposed to do so you can tailor your cv accordingly Okay, then we have the virtual clinical pharmacist. So these three roles, virtual clinical pharmacist, um, he digital health pharmacist, and telehealth service provider. So these three roles are kind of related. So you could find the job description online and then know which one best suits you or which one you're more interested in and then tailor your CV accordingly. So I hope for those of us interested in the tech industry, there are actually more tech roles available for a pharmacist or it depends on the company hiring there are also research roles and transcription roles and all of that it depends on the company hiring and what you're interested in so i i would encourage you to do more research on this as this gives you an idea that pharmacists can also work from home because the world has evolved and a lot of things have come online so you can actually do that and you know for people that are mothers and nursing mothers or they're on their maternity leave, this could be your side hustle, which can eventually grow into your full-time hustle because you, you begin to work from home and you can be there for your family as you want to. And then for others that in, prefer working from home so their schedule can be more flexible, you can do this. So thank you for joining me today. This video is quite short. I said I wasn't going to make it too long. so. I don't bore you. <laughs> 
so thank you for joining me today i hope you learned something new and i hope you found something you're actually interested in thank you